Up for your consideration is this 1984 Nissan Patrol four-wheel drive turbo diesel. It is a higher kilometers unit with approximately 453,000 kilometers on it, but it has had an overhauled engine and transmission. The body has consistent wear with the age of the vehicle, including the mostly original paint. It is faded and missing the decals, but a look down the side does demonstrate that the panels are straight. There are no big dents or rust holes in them. The only rust does occur on the rocker panels as well as the drip rails up top. And that rust has been repaired. It does look like a a more amateur repair with the textured paint here. But really on both sides, the rocker panels and the drip rails, that is the extent of the rust. The frame rails, undercarriage, and rest of the vehicle does appear solid. It does have 31 inch mud terrain tires. They are nearing the end of their life. And they do are a good indicator to show that the front axle is in good condition, considering that the tread is worn evenly on both sides of the tire. We'll come around and take a look at the other front tire here. Again, to show that there is even wear on both sides. If the front axle kingpins were worn, this tread would be uneven. One side would be worn more than the other. Same with the wheel bearings and tie rods. It is fitted with a snorkel. It is also fitted with the factory swing away tire carrier and jerry can holder. As well as a tow hitch. Again, taking a look down the side, we see that the paint is worn, but straight. These fender flares are solid, but they are, they are somewhat loose. The mounting brackets must be broken underneath. And I have driven this vehicle all around Australia personally, and I can say that it does start, run, and drive very well, despite its age. And that driving has included four-wheel drive tracks in the Outback, and I have not had one issue with the mechanics on this vehicle. I'm selling due to being here on holiday and leaving the country. We do show the original door panel. The original seats, which as we can see the driver's seat does show some heavy wear. The passenger seat is complete. Coming to the dashboard, we can see that it is there, it is complete, but again a little bit faded. We have an aftermarket Pioneer stereo. Zooming in, we do have 455,369 kilometers on this machine. The gauges all do work except for the tachometer that does not function. Now I will do a cold start of the SD33-T turbo diesel engine. That engine is manufactured by Nissan and in addition to these patrols, it was used in forklifts, generators, and boats for a power unit for like a large boat. So it is a very well built industrial engine. And this particular unit has been recently overhauled. So we will go down to show the glow plug as well as the as well as the voltage gauge. So to start this 
We let the glow plugs run through. Again, this is a cold start. And that's all it takes. If we would like, we can set a high idle with the throttle lock here. Taking a look around the back, we do see that the exhaust is running clear. No smoke that would indicate an engine problem. The only smoke that this vehicle ever does make is when it first starts, it is a small puff. Again, this engine is completely cold. Let's take a look at the engine itself. This model does have the 5-speed overdrive transmission, which is a highly sought-after transmission in these patrols. It cruises very comfortably at, six, at 100 kilometers an hour and could, can easily go faster. The fuel economy is very great for a machine of this size. It uses about say, 10 to 11 liters per 100 kilometers. Again, that's at around 100. It also does have the solid, solid front and rear axles, which do make for a very rugged off-road experience. And so there it is, a 1984 Nissan Patrol turbo diesel four-wheel drive.